When you import motion capture data into Blender, it creates an armature. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect a skin to the armature to create a rig. And I'm going to show you how to use the action editor to store a range of motions for that rig. File new. Delete the default cube with the delete key. File import motion capture data find your motion capture file and import it and Blender creates the armature and imports keyframes for the motion in the right orthogonal view I'm going to press R to rotate and minus 90 degrees, press enter. In the front view I'm going to press S to scale and reduce the size down. I'm going to go back to the corner again and press S to scale again and bring it right down to about there. I'm going to toggle quad view and I'm going to zoom in using the mouse wheel and pan using shift and middle mouse button. I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to, very important, turn X mirror on. Now if I select the hand bone G to grab we see that it is offset and we want it to be connected to the lower arm bone. So to correct that I'm going to shift and select the lower arm bone, control and P and make that connected. And I'm going to repeat that for the lower arm, shift and select the upper arm, control and P and connect that. I'm going to do that for two more chains of bones. Uh, I'm going to select the foot bone, shift and select the lower leg bone, control and P, connected and shift and select the upper leg, control and P, connected and finally the head bone shift and select the neck bone control and P connected I'm going to put the armature into the classic T stance so I'm going to select all of the arm I'm going to press R to rotate and minus 90 enter and then I'm going to zoom in and G to grab and put that there. There is a very small hip bone which I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to grab the tail, G to grab, Z for Z direction and just make that a little bit bigger. I'm going to go back into pose mode to make sure the changes haven't affected the motion capture animation. I press play. We get a jump kick but it's far too quick. How do we fix that? The motion is too quick because I halved the number of keyframes twice. To fix that problem I'm going to go into the dope sheet. I'm going to move this into the middle and zoom in till we see 120. The last keyframe is frame 30 so I'm going to double it twice up to 120. Remember to rewind, press S to scale and scale up to frame 120. Uh, the animation will now be about 125 long so if we play that see if that has cured the problem. and that's about the right speed now. While we're in dope sheet view I'm going to go into the action editor mode and I'm going to save the jump kick by pressing the F button. This will save the data block even if it has no users so we can have more than one action stored and I'm going to do new by clicking the plus button and I'm going to name the new action 
uh, T pose. And I'm going to press the delete key to delete all the keyframes. And I'm going to select the armature, press A for all bones. I'm going to go to the pose menu and clear transform rotation and pose clear transform location. And I'm going to insert a keyframe for rotation only. Now we are ready to bring in the skin that we're going to attach to the armature to make a rig. So to do that I'm going to go to File, Append and then I have to find the file that has got the skin in and that's in here. And I go into the model, go into Object and the actual skin is made from a plane. So I append that in and there is our skin. I got the model from this website, BlendSwap, from this gentleman, Eric. Uh, I had to join two meshes together and strip out some other stuff, so I'll put the simplified version of the file at my website. Uh, I'm going to stop there, call that part one, and carry on in part two of the tutorial. Bye for now.